bowling goalie can't stop scoring. Scores with the head, scores with the left foot, scores with the right foot, even his chest. Anyways, guys, it's your boy Enoch Case, and this is OK Speaks Football. So yes guys, welcome back to this channel. Chelsea just finished playing Zenit at home Stamford Bridge UEFA Champions League. We keep the title charge on. So we are trying to defend our title and yes, we started with a strong win. Chelsea won Zenit nil. Actually, I must confess Zenit is a very, very, very strong team. I know all our pre-match predictions, you see everywhere we had 4-0, Three new it was because we didn't do proper research these guys are the champions in the Russian Premier League and they played some good football today credits to the Zenit team Zenit St. Petersburg team uh, credits to them they were really 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 outstanding looking at the lineup it wasn't as we thought it was going to be we thought up front Lukaku and Timowena were going to start and we felt Chilwell was also going to start and we also thought uh, Chaloba was going to start, but I think we got all those wrong. Thomas Tuchel actually came with a proper team. I think Thomas Tuchel, of course, very great manager. He did his homework very, very well and he knew Zenit was a very strong team, hence the lineup he came with. But even with the strongest lineup he came with, we still had Mount and Ziyech up front and they were below performance. They didn't you know, they didn't perform as they were supposed to. They had lots of misplaced passes. ZH was actually hiding almost throughout the whole game. And I really felt for him when he was subbed off because he didn't play well. And this was his uh, second game, you know, after returning from injury. So I think we now should be raising some questions and should be expecting more from ZH over the next few weeks. And of course, our midfield was still the pairing of Jorgi and Kovacic. Of course, sound midfield. Jorgino is a phenomenal underrated player. It does a lot of good things in that Chelsea team. Recycling. And the, 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 the funny, the sad part is we do not have any replacement for Jorgino. Like, if Jorgino is not playing, we have to play another way. Which might be better, might not be better, but we cannot play the same way we play with Jorgino in that team. And now going to the back line, of course, it was really, really solid for the most part of the game. Tony Rudiger, which we didn't expect was going to start, started the game and he had a massive run just like the one Zuma had. And on Twitter, they were like, okay, he's paying tribute to Zuma. But of course, that was a massive run. You can imagine this player with that massive pace was the one FIFA gave 74. So it, it's really surprising. And also in the center back, we had Christensen start. Christensen was also phenomenal. We had Aspliqueta, of course, that wonderful assist he gave to Romelu Lukaku. Of course, you guys know that assist Aspliqueta gave was an easy trademark assist right from the front of the box, you know, a bit far from the front of the box. He did that very well with Morata. I think if you guys can remember, I think three or four times, you know, the, the season we signed Morata. Aspliqueta kept on throwing in those crosses. Morata kept on adding them into the net. So, of course, we are seeing that again. And now on our right wing back, we had James come back. James was solid as well. Alonso now was also solid. You know, most of you want Alonso to drop below performance so we can see Chilwell into the team, which the fact is Chilwell isn't in the right or in the best place right now. Of course, more games will make him, you know, fit, but we do not want to be having bad performances from Chilwell. So it will be best is back, you know, 100% mentality and everything is back 100% before we expect to see him back into the side. And of course, it was subbed on at the dying minutes of the game and he showed a bit of rustiness, but at the end of the day, he gelled with the game and he was playing really great. And now let's talk about our bowling goalie our bowling goalie rl9 romelu lukaku this guy is such a phenomenal player he is a great player he's in real shape and i think his heart is 
home. He's really playing like he wants to play, he wants to score, he wants to break records at Chelsea. And to be honest, the old Chelsea, you know, team isn't even feeding him that much yet. You know, it's meant to be like all balls to Romelu Lukaku. But of course, we're still giving him beats, beats, and he's making use of these little balls. And really outstanding performance from Romelu Lukaku. Really calm, his first touch with the stigma is on has been improved significantly he is a great player and of course i think he will be our man of the match for today so Romelu lukaku man of the match outstanding performance of course at the dying minute he could have also made it too or he could have squared it all the way up to rudiger but you guys saw rudiger rudiger is so 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 aggressive he really wanted that goal so bad and i like that thirst i like that hunger in the chelsea squad and of course we can only go forward and forward from here so guys who was your man of the match make sure you put it in the comment section and also if you haven't subscribed make sure you smash that subscribe button and also like this video as well thank you so much have a wonderful day Peace.